Pro's Tip, presented by Pelagic High Performance Offshore Gear, official apparel of Florida Sport Fishing TV. Hi, and welcome to this episode's Pro Tip. I'm Captain Mike. Imagine with me for a moment. You're heading offshore dolphin fishing. Way out in the distance, you see a well-formed weed line. Your luck's about to change. However, have you ever stopped to wonder exactly what sargasm weed is, where it originates, and how does it really affect our overall fisheries? Weed lines represent the most biologically diverse offshore ecosystems on Earth, yet we know very little about sargasm and the role this golden gift plays in the health of our offshore environment. There are at least six species of sargasm, which is actually algae, but only two make up the floating mats and patches that we encounter. The source of sargasm weed is the Sargasso Sea, a two million square mile chunk of water in the middle of the North Atlantic. The Sargasso Sea is bordered by the Gulf Stream, the Canary Current, and the North Equatorial Current. Prevailing winds and spiraling eddies disperse the floating algae throughout the world's oceans. Pieces float for years and reproduce many times. Eventually, sargasm loses its vibrancy and gets weighed down from the myriad of animals and invertebrates clinging to its aging fronds. Water pressure ultimately collapses the tiny gas bladders, keeping it afloat and seals the weed's fate. Shake a handful of healthy sargasm and you'll be amazed by the tiny shrimp, crabs, and squid and the many juvenile fish that rely on the vegetation. Many of these animals have evolved to match the same weed they rely so heavily on. While sargasm provides refuge for baby turtles, the baby bluefin tuna, well-formed weed lines may also provide a landmark that game fish return to throughout the day to gather and feed. Really, there is no other habitat like it in the world. Sargasm weed provides shelter from predation while harboring a constant supply of prey.